What's good, man? What's going on? I know that this video will be so, so crazy. Uh, simply because it's, it's not a normal vlog. It is a video. Uh, it's a video with me giving effort to try to be, uh, to try to have a transparent moment about my life. Something that's been, that I've been dealing with for like the last, uh, since December. And if I can, I'm going to get the, uh, the video to show exactly what video you can see the change and what was going on in my mind. I think it's here or here. It's one, but uh, the vlog when uh, when I was, I got upset about some stuff. And that was the vlog that everything changed for me. Um, at that very moment, um, I allowed, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna say I allowed because that make it sound like, like I volunteered. <laughs> depression and anxiety to come in in my in my body and my life and in my world uh, but nonetheless that that is what happened um, I've I had some some uh, some things you know transpire in my life and basically I went from 100 to zero real quick and this video is to talk about that um like i just said a few minutes a few seconds ago i uh i was dealing i've been dealing with depression and i've been dealing with anxiety and the the depression has been so so bad that i felt like i was in a place that i had never been before so i had a conversation with monique to uh to seek help for this and I just want to talk, you know, talk about me uh, for for however long I have to talk uh, about what happened. I actually wrote some stuff down. Um, I'm not going to stay on my phone the whole time, but I'm, I'm looking down at my phone. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my phone. Uh, I posted on Facebook and on Instagram. So if you're not following me, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. It's I am Cofield on Facebook and Instagram. So uh that's what that's what some these were my own questions, but other people asked me too uh that some stuff from their from their behalf. So I'm about to get ready to fire off my stuff first and then at the end it'd be like like bonus where other people ask. Um when did I feel it? When did I feel the depression kick in and the uh anxiety kick in? Um I can honestly say that as far as the uh, depression, I felt it kick in when when I went to the last like brain testing, and they told they told me that the same thing that the first brain testing had told me that uh, my my brain was moving significantly slower than a person than a male that's my age and my my black <laughs> a, a, for a black man my age. Um, my brain was moving significantly slower for than uh, people that that fit in that criteria. Uh, and once I, even though I knew the news, I was, before then I was able to stay strong. But by then I was like, it got to me, and I don't know why. I do not know why, but that's exactly when it got to me. And it got me. It got to me so bad that the very thing that I love to do, which is record and upload like that's my that's my my therapy um it wasn't working for me it actually gave me the reverse effect i couldn't bring myself to record or upload anything um it was like paralyzing as, as far as uh, me being me being creative i it, it took me out of my creative realm and I, it was hard for me to get back in it I'm going to be sputtering around all of these so I may come back to number one to have a discussion because my memory's bad. That's one one of the things that, that's been bothering me too because my memory is, is so bad since I fell and hit my head and all that. Um, how did I identify what it was? Um, the way I was able to identify what it was, um, 
if you know me in person, then you know what type of person I am. And if you don't know me in person, you only know me through through uh, social media, then what you see truly is how I am all the time. Not 100% all the time, but like for the most part, that's my stilo. Like that, that's how I am. I'm happy, I'm, I'm upbeat, I'm positive. And once I noticed that I wasn't able to be that anymore, then I that that I knew that something was wrong with me because normally, naturally, what I, I I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs, I don't do any of that, and I like I I live off a natural high, and once my natural high dropped and I couldn't create my own happiness, I knew that something was wrong. So it and at that point, I knew that I was experiencing something. What it was, I didn't know. Uh, and how far it would go, I didn't know. Um, but I was willing to work, you know, work on it. But, okay, I'm, I digress. I'm going to the next one. What am I feeling now? As of right now, I feel, I feel pretty good. Um, I got a question. I don't want to get ahead of the question. So, I, as of right now, today, I feel great. Today is uh, February February the 6th. I was supposed to record this yesterday, but we got the grandkids stopped. So, I wanted to make this video before I start putting up the videos with the grandkids and us having fun and all of that because I feel like this is so important. And this is video 100. <laughs> and I, I'm going, once I get done, I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk about a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, how did this affect my life and my family's life? Um, I'm gonna speak on the depression first. The depression, um, it affected me because in the way that I didn't do, I, I, I didn't have it in me to do anything other than just be miserable. That, that That's all that my mind would allow me to do is just be miserable. And as far as the anxiety, um, the anxiety had gotten so bad that I couldn't do anything. Uh, I couldn't leave. I couldn't even leave. Leave out of the house. I would get dressed. I would have a panic attack getting dressed, and like the anxiety would shoot through the roof. When I get to my front door to get ready to walk out, it got so crippling that. I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't go, like, I couldn't go to church. I couldn't go to my job. I couldn't even go to, like, for say for instance, I've, I've had many panic attacks of just about, about going to Chick-fil-A to eat. And that's no way to live. So um, me personally, it affect my life by stopping me from being able to be a creative person. It stopped me from uh, being able to make a sound decision and it, it affected me by not allowing me to be effective as a as a dad as a business owner as a husband as a as a friend it, it, it took me out of everything that I, I, I normally can be it took took that away from me out it, it stripped me from it and how did it affect my family um, Man, like I said, I, I couldn't I couldn't go to work. I couldn't do anything. So financially we we dipped. We we took a dip financially because I couldn't stay, I couldn't keep my head in the game. Uh and everybody who know I I I haven't been able to work because I my body would my body hasn't been there. So normally I just, you know, be able to make money off my mind. And that that got taken away. So um that was rough. That was rough. Uh, trying to stay on on target with with whatever you have saved and whatever uh, whatever was has been depleted from going to doctors every day, seeing doctors every day, seeing specialists every day, therapists every day, uh, physical therapists every day, and like all of that took a toll. On, on a fi on the financial uh, front, if you will. Um, but as of right now, we're getting our we're getting our lives out of what 
yeah, we're getting our lives out of the shambles uh, that the anxiety and depression put us in from on my for me. So we've been working on that. Um, I'm gonna come back and talk about some more stuff. And if, if you have any questions, if you got anything that you want to say, put it down. Put it down in the uh, in, in the comment section. Let us let if you know if you're not afraid to say something that's bothering you or somebody that you know or anything just you know comment and if you're enjoying this video if it's helpful tipful uh encouraging or anything that if it's anything other than boring or suck to you give me a thumbs up uh how am i fixing this form of mental instability aka mental illness uh like i said i got to a place where i'd never been before uh mindset wise functionality wise so i went well I, I talked to monique we sat down and i talked to her and i told her that i needed help because if you're if you're an adult and you have anything going on long in your life then you you have dealt with some type of uh depression maybe or uh i'm not gonna say anxiety but depression maybe um like I've dealt with depression before and I've dealt with depression in the way that it put me down once before and I did it on my own and it took me about two years or three years to fully come out of a state of depression and I saw the fact that I got to where I was at first and once I got there, I saw that I got pat, like got down lower than where I was at first. So I was so afraid. So I asked Monique to let's get together and get me some help to try to help me fast as possible. And we agreed on it and we did it. And so uh, I've been seeing a, a therapist for, I say about six weeks now. I've been seeing a therapist for six weeks uh, and it truly does help it truly does help and i i, I really want to get on here and be open and honest and hopefully uh encouraging to somebody who feel like they need help and they feel like they are like if they go get help then they're less than a man or less than a woman or less than anything other than what you are it takes a it takes a stronger person to admit that they need help with mental instabilities than it does to try to push through on your own because you at that moment once you once you get what's going on in your mind and in in, in your body out to someone else it takes a strong person to be okay with somebody knowing that type of stuff. And I know that I could have did it on my own, but I don't have three years, two years, one year, six years to, to, to try to get it right on my own. Um, so I went to somebody who I feel like who can create a designed conversation for me to be able to come out of whatever it is I was in and it's been working it truly has been working it truly has been working so I'm so grateful I'm so thankful that God has put me in a place to uh to get to where I need to be in a shorter period of time and I'm it's working for me it's working for me and I really think that it'll work for you if you're the type of person that that have some stuff going on and you don't know what it is i would say just sit and maybe talk to a friend or talk to a loved one and ask them the what difference do they see in you and maybe they can help you to make that decision and it's okay it's okay to go seek help it's okay to go seek help it's it's perfectly fine it's perfectly fine if you don't want to hurt and you don't want to suffer then do what needs to be done to get yourself together because nobody nobody deserves you to be happy more than you and we function 
so much better when we're happy. When, when we're happy. Uh, when when you're when, when you're okay mentally and physically and spiritually, it allows you to be something more for someone else. And that's the way you reach down and you pick somebody up. And so I I really want to put this video out to to help our community as a whole to let you know that it's okay to it's okay to to, to be hurting. It's okay to be unsure. And it's okay to be in a struggle. And it's okay to get help for it. Um, the one thing I say is if you found out that you had pneumonia and you know that pneumonia is something that it, it's crippling. You, you can't get up. You can't go to work. You can't drive. You can't like you're sick. You're literally sick. I, I look at that same mindset for uh, for getting help mentally. If you're sick, you need help. And I, I think that everyone who who has a question or like if, if, if I can do something to help you uh, get to where you want to be. And we don't have to have conversations about anything that's going on in your life. You can I can give you all the information about my life. And maybe you can use that as encouragement or a baseline to see like what avenue you want to take. And I also would say try to do it without medicine because you can you can have you can be suffering from depression. And if you go to a doctor, they'll give you an antidepressant. I'm not and I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying you have options. You have options, so use your options. Um, in the beginning, I was taking medicine to, to keep my depression down. And it got to the point where that wasn't doing it for me. So I went to someone who can help me talk through my problems, my issues. And so that's that's why I'm at right now. That's why I'm at right now. And I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah questions on my phone that I'm gonna get to and so if once this conversation goes live and it's live now because you see it uh, feel free to to uh, message me um, text me inbox me on if you don't want to post anything here I am Cofield is my my Instagram and Dante Cofield is my Facebook but you can you can Google I am Cofield and get to any of my social medias to to reach out, and I'm I'm perfectly okay with keeping your stuff, anything that you want to know, confidential. Uh, and like I said, you don't have to talk to me about your problems. You can ask me about my problems, and I'll give you give it to you clear. Um, okay. So this this one is not a question. It's more like a statement. Uh, how how it's so it seemed like it's so taboo so un so untouchable for uh, anxiety and depression to be taking place in in, a, in communities and this person wanted me to say out loud to everybody that if you see someone who you feel like is suffering from depression or anxiety or anything that 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 you can see talk to them like make a conscious effort to uh, to see exactly what's going on they may open up they may not but wouldn't you feel so much better knowing that you reached out and they if they opened up you kept them from hurting themselves or you kept them from hurting someone else um or maybe the very conversation that you had with them gave them the hope that they needed to to go in the direction that needs to be needs to be go, taken gone in or you know whatever uh, this person wanted me to say that we're all we have and we should look out for one another and unjudgingly look out for one another so if if you know somebody today if you know somebody that needs 
your help. Help them. Help them. They will be, I guarantee you that down the, down the road, once you come out and give them the help they need, they'll be so happy that you reached out. Like, as, as the hero you are. And I just, I, it's so many different ways and there's so many different avenues I want to talk about this. But I'm going to leave it right here at this very point right now. But I've been suffering from depression since December 21st. And it's February 6th. It's not as bad as it was. Um, but it's not 100% gone. Um, I'm more stable now. Um, I'm a happier person than I was in December. My anxiety has come down a lot. Um, I still have panic attacks, but I haven't had to take any medicine as dealing with my panic attacks. I used to have to take a pill every time, but now I'm in a place where my therapist helped me get to a place where I can process so much more and get everything down and work through. And if you're a parent, like, talk to your kids about it. We don't know what they go through. It's a, a lot of times they'll, they'll talk to us, but because the world makes it so taboo to talk about the way you feel mentally, that they'll shut it in. And, it's not it's not healthy it's not healthy at all and you know go go back in their life and talk just listen and listen to them without judging and listen to them and listen listen to what they have to say and listen to their tonalities and all of that and and be there for for them for anyone in an, an adult because like I said, we could easily be the reason that someone lives. We can easily be the reason why someone doesn't hurt someone. We could easily be the reason why someone finds joy. And that that's 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 dope. That's so awesome. That that we can do it. Only if we do do it. Y'all, I'm like I said, I'm gonna leave it open. If you if anybody has anything to say then you can either comment down here you can leave a thumbs up and you can reach out to me on any social media that you know me on uh i really want to try to attack this in so many different angles because i don't want someone to think that they are alone because you're not alone you are not alone and you're not weak for wanting to get help that's the last thing you are you are not weak for wanting to get help you deserve to be healthy you deserve to be happy and you deserve to be free mentally and physically so don't let anyone talk you out of your your, your happiness your healthiness because we all deserve that we all deserve it so reach out don't reach out hit me don't hit me either way i hope that if you're dealing with something that you can find a way to get through it and not try to go through it on your own because you have help you got us i appreciate y'all time thank y'all we're gonna talk more about this uh this was just on my heart and so i had to make this video right quick to, just to open up the gates so y'all come on in. Peace.